Welcome to the AACS Daily News for November 17, 2016. The city is asking residents for their help as they work to preserve some of the natural lands of Attleboro. To find out more, we spoke with conservation agent Tara Martin. I'm here on Handy Street, which is a new conservation area that the city acquired uh, two years ago. This property has over 70 acres of valuable open space. We'd like to open it up to the public. It's a beautiful area to, to walk and to enjoy. The wildlife here is everything from birds to turtles to salamanders to deer. The trails are tremendous on the property, but it needs a lot of work. Uh, there's a lot of trash on the property. There's a lot of invasive species on the property and the trails are really run down. The city is inviting the residents of Attleboro down to this property this Saturday, November 19th at 10 a.m. until noon to clean up this property. We'd like to get the community to come down to this property on Saturday and, and really, really get involved and participate uh, on the different, different projects that we're going to have on this property. This Saturday we're going to just begin with trash. There's a lot of trash everywhere on this property and if we can get enough people to come down here on Saturday, I think we can get all the trash cleaned up or at least a good part of it. And that's just the first step of the work that we want to do on this property. You know, once, once we get the trash cleaned up, then maybe in, a, maybe in the spring we'll do an invasive species removal day where we'll ask the public to come back down and help us get rid of the invasives that are on the property. Uh, and then the third step that we'd like to do is we'd like to get the trails in shape here. There's numerous trails to enjoy on this property, but they're worn down, they're not in good shape, and there's so many trails on this property that you could get lost. So we'd like to groom the existing trails, get them in good order, close some existing trails, and maybe get some boardwalks and some bridges that are going over the different streams on the property so people can really enjoy this open space in the future. It's for the residents that live here. It's, it's for the well-being of your health and it's also for the well-being of our environment and our wildlife within our community. And the more the residents get involved in the open space we acquire, the more we can accomplish. So we really hope that you can come down on Saturday, November 19th from 10 till noon and participate in, in this community event. You know, we'll have trash bags, we'll have gloves, uh, you know, basically everything you need. I, I recommend that people should should wear long sleeves and, and uh, wear you know, jeans, maybe wear your socks over your pants, and please put plenty of bug spray on. Uh, we are going to be walking through the woods, even though it's along trails, there will be things like ticks and possibly, probably not mosquitoes with this weather, but you really want to be prepared with, with the right clothing, uh, you know, just, just dress to be comfortable, but please, please spray some bug spray on you before you come down. Uh, you can call the Conservation Commission office at 508-223-2222, extension 3145, or you can just come down here Saturday at 10 a.m. I'm going to have a sign-up sheet where you can put your name, address, and your email address. So when we have uh, other events in the future, we can email you the, the event so you know about it earlier. Um, so, you know, just feel free to come on down if you're not able to give, give the office a call beforehand. I just, I just hope to see as many residents in the city of Attleboro as possible. I'm very excited about this piece of property. It's, it's over 70 acres, like I said, of valuable, valuable open space with tremendous wildlife value. And, you know, the, the, the more we put into this, the more we're going to get back. So uh, I just really hope we, we have as many people come down as possible. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.